Today I will show you a trick I wish I would have known about before. For a long time I thought that when you have a const declaration that you cannot reassign then the values to that declaration. That is to some extent also true, but there are special cases for arrays. For arrays you can then not assign a completely new array, but of course you can still modify the values inside of an array, which doesn't make it immutable. And this is why I'm showing you today const assertions. And with const assertions, you can make an array fully immutable in TypeScript. Let's kick off the example with a simple array. I will use the let declaration to declare a local block scoped variable. And I will simply put one, two, three in it so that we have an array of three numbers. Doing this allows me then to assign that array to a completely new array with, for example, the values 4, 5 and 6. So I have now a completely different array from the first one. If I want to prevent reassignment, I can use the const keyword and with const it won't be possible to assign the array to a completely new one. The const keyword prevents the reassignment because an array is a reference type and the const declaration forbids assigning new references. Unfortunately, we will still be allowed to modify the elements inside of that reference. So let's look at the pop method because this one removes elements from the array. So it doesn't remove the array reference. Yeah, the reference to the array will be still the same, but it will remove the elements inside of that reference. So three pops will remove the one, two and three from our array. That will basically make the array empty. So we can use push to fill up the array with new elements. In this case, I will just put in four, five and six. And then we will have a look at the console. We will lock the array to see that we then really have an array, like which will be the same reference, but um, filled up with different elements. So we will see four, five and six now in our array. I will use npx and then my little helper tool here, tsnode, to execute the TypeScript code directly with the node environment. And there's the proof we see an array, but with different values than we had here listed in line number one. That's the moment where the prince of hell roars. <laughs> and here's the reason why. TypeScript already knows that this array can be of any number, not just one, two, and three, because it knows that it can have modifications to its inner elements, even though we use the const declaration. This means that our array is not immutable, but that's something that we would like to achieve. My first attempt is specifying an explicit type of one, two, and three. So we have that literal type now, which will then bring us a little further because TypeScript now says, okay, you can't push the values four, five, and six in this array because you specified it to only hold one, two, and three. Still, our array isn't safe from modifications. It can be modified by using the pop method because that will still remove elements from the array so we can create an empty array instead of an array that holds one, two, and three. In functional programming, you want to prevent such behavior. And here comes the rescue, an as const assertion. It will make our array read only. As you can see here, it creates a read only type and the one, two, three type is mutable and the one, two, three as const type is immutable. So we have to change our explicit type to a read-only type. Now we can't modify the inner elements of our array. You will see that the pop method is forbidden as of TypeScript error 2339. This protects us from side effects and brings in immutability within the TypeScript system. Why did I say that it brings in immutability only in the TypeScript system? Well, let's have a look at the TypeScript playground. On the left, we can write some TypeScript code and on the right, we will see the transpired JavaScript code. For the plain array declaration, both code snippets will look the same. So const array equals one to three is const array equals one to three in JavaScript. But as soon as I'm adding the s const assertion, we'll see a difference because as const only exists in TypeScript, but doesn't generate any output in JavaScript. This means that the array is still mutable when you access it from JavaScript. 